first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends here is the video number five on the mistake series that is based on simplification we need to compare it right so this 11 by 13 7 by 15 so assume that there are two numbers one number is 11 by 13 and another number is 7 by 15 so in case if we need to compare and we need to check which of these two number is greater than whether 11 by 13 is greater than or 7 by 15 is greater than so which number is greater than so in case if we have a case like this usually i have seen student used to divide both the numbers they just divide 11 by 13 and then divide 7 divided by 15 so this is the area where many students will make a mistake why because in the decimal point or in the division so first you have to place a point and then a zero yes or no and then you have to multiply with 8 so this is the area where in the division part i have seen many students will make a mistake if it is 11 by 13 it is easy in case if the question is like 12 by 131 most of the student will make a mistake right so this is not the right way this is one of the way to solve but because of store many students are making mistake again and again on this division part so better use this technique to solve right the technique here is i will teach you what is the technique the technique here is just cross multiply the numbers 11 into 15 which is 165 right so 13 into 7 which is 91 understood or not instead of dividing 11 by 13 and finding the answer 7 by 15 and finding the answer we have to check which of these two numbers is greater than instead of doing that because we make a mistake on division so better we will not follow the method right instead of that instead of following that method what i am telling here is i am just asking you to cross multiply the number just see here 11 by 13 7 by 15 cross multiply it 15 into 11 will be 165 13 into 7 will be 91 so now 165 91 which of the two number is greater than so out of these two number sorry which which one is greater than 165 is greater than so we can say that 11 by 13 7 by 15 so we can say 11 by 13 is greater than understood or not it's easy right where students will not make a mistake i hope if you you two are proceeding the uh, this this kind of thing in the older method don't do that it just better cross multiply and check which of the number is greater than or less than that will be easy this year i have taken another example question so 7 by 9 8 by 11 so what you should not do you should not do like this 7 divided by 9 point is 0 don't do that right so instead of doing that just cross multiply it 11 into 7 which is 77 9 into 8 which is 72 77 72 which is greater than 77 is greater than so we can say that 7 by 9 8 by 11 we can say 7 by 11 is 7 by 9 is greater than yes easy right so it does not require that much of time to solve and it is very easy to where you will not make any mistake in the exams 
So friends understood right it's easy so mistake number five you have to remember one thing the normal method do not follow to these kinds of question use a technique just cross multiply it after getting cross multiply check the answer which is greater than or less than understood. So friends thank you so much for watching this video bye. So friends and one more important thing in my feel free to learn platform we are providing one course that is how to make uh, videos education videos on a YouTube platform. So we will teach you all the techniques because I have seen many students who keep on asking me I want to share the knowledge to the other students how I can make a videos proper education videos on a YouTube platform. So this is a green screen video you can able to see the background is completely green screen I am using a software a tab and a pen. So I will teach you all the steps right how to make a proper education videos and how to start your youtube channel where you should invest money and where should not invest your money and wasting your money is not needed so if you if you have a passion of teaching or if you like you want to share your knowledge to the other students by teaching and youtube or various platform we will definitely help you how to make a proper education videos it will be a complete paid course i will told you already i have told you why it is paid everything so in case if you have any details whatsapp us we will join we will help you to join in the private class and we will make you and we will help you to make an education videos on your own so thank you so much friends for watching this video bye